Hey, you want to learn something useful? Come on, let's go. Hi, this is Chris at My Handyman, and I want to teach you how to do all those little jobs and chores around your house that I know that you can do without calling for help. Now, if this is your first time tuning into my channel, welcome. And please, please, please subscribe. There's a little red button here someplace. It just push that. If you're returning, welcome back for another lesson and get ready. We're about to begin. Today what we're going to do is we're going to show you two different kinds of doorknobs, how to take them off, how to put them on. We're going to take off this doorknob here, which has the, the nice modern handle that, that you can push down with your hand. It locks because it's made for bed, bathrooms and bedrooms. And we're going to be putting on a round handled one, a little bit easier to put on. Most houses have something like this, but I want to show you how it actually works. I've opened it up for convenience to see what kind of parts we have and what, what has to be put on. So I'm going to introduce you to those things. Okay, so what we have is the doorknob itself comes in two pieces. We also have the piece that goes in the door here. The strike plate this is a strike plate and that's on the the door where it actually latches into the wall okay then of course the various screws that are necessary for the for the job now in this particular case what we have is this kind of a doorknob and it has as you can see an allen screw down here to take it off you take off the handle then this this decorative plate comes off same thing on the other side and it has two screws here to take this um, to take this unit out straight and then on the other side it's a match okay so we have the same handle same allen screw on the inside with the same the same plate on the around the around the base so what we're going to do I'll show you how to take this off and put on the other one. So what we're going to do is we're going to take an Allen key, all right, and, and they come in a variety of, of, of sizes. Um, this particular case, mine came in a unit that looks like this. I've got something a little bit more elaborate than that as well. But in this particular case, we're going to use this one. Each one's got a little bit different size, and they have different sizes in that kit. So I'm going to put this in here, and I'm going to turn it and take this. Just not unscrew it completely, but I'm going to unscrew it enough where the handle comes out. So here we go. There we go. Now it's nice and loose. Can I can I remove it yet? Not yet. So I unscrew it just a little bit more. And there. Okay. Handles off. Which also means this will come off. And that comes off with your screwdriver if you need it. It's got a little bit of a ridge right in there. Put your fine flathead in there and should pop right off without destroying the door. See, it comes right off. The next thing we're going to do is the other handle. All right. It's coming off nice. It's coming off nice. Almost. Almost. that it will do it okay it came off now 
We're going to do the same thing with this. Will this pop right off? Let's see. Like I said, they're on there. Oh, look at that. Came right off. That was nice. All right, so there's two screws. There's one here and one here. So let's take those out. There we go. And they're long, so this takes just a moment. The threads on these screws are kind of fine, so. All right, so there's one, so they're pretty fine. So it's a nice, this is a nice, um, actually this is a very nice doorknob unit. And I can only assume that this one runs right around the 30 to $40 mark. So this one here, coming out nicely and the one that we're putting in is about 10 bucks and that, a lot of houses have those $10 units because it's just a doorknob depends on how fancy you really want to get all right got that one out all right so what happens now is both come out Alright, so what's next? What's next? That's right. We gotta take that that piece out of the center right here. We gotta take this barrel out of here. Alright. So let's take those two screws out. This one, they're just little guys too. Those come up pretty easy. There's a second one. All right, and here's the barrel. It comes right out. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna take our new barrel and slide that guy right in there. Now there's two different ways of putting it in. See this area here that's, that's rounded? You wanna make sure that that's hitting the strike plate. Otherwise, it's gonna go clump up against this flat part and it's not gonna work. So go ahead and slide this guy in. And with our new screws that are available, and they usually come in a little bag like this. Then we can put in the new screws. See, now this is a brass unit so that all the screws are going to be brass too. All right. The holes always line up, so don't worry about that. Okay. And there's always enough screws to make this work. Most of these manufacturers that, that do the doorknobs, they're pretty good about that. They don't want you to do any returns. They want to have they want to have a good name for, for, for themselves. So they always supply the right amount of stuff. All right, so now we got a hole and we've got, I'm gonna move this over so you can see. You can see here that you've got a hole here, half a hole and a hole here, all right? This has got the, the shape of a moon on the bottom here. All right, and that's gonna go in that shape of the moon that's here. And what I do is I always push this guy in to make it work good. And then those, then these two, where the screws actually go into to affix this to the, to this other side, go into the hole here and that half moon over on the other side. So just make sure those guys line up. I push this guy in fits right in there. Now I've got the lock, locking mechanism goes on the inside. Okay. For this, there's a hole here for the key that's available that they give you. It's just like the key that they push in there and turn and it makes this guy unlock. So I'm going to line this up over here. Same thing on the inside, a little half moon on the inside. I'm going to put that 
right in with the half moon, fits right in. Line up the two holes. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to move this guy back again so you can kind of see that. All right, yeah, I know I'm moving this guy around a lot. All right, now what comes in the kit are the two long screws, and those two long screws go in these two holes here. All right, now here's kind of the tricky part. You hold the back side of the doorknob here and you try and fish around for those two posts that you put through earlier. And they, they should then screw right in. All right, just make sure you got it nice and level. And you should be able to find it relatively good. Okay, we'll try this side first. Get one side, the other side pops in pretty good. Oh, there we go. Get one side in, the other side pops in pretty good. Okay, and it's a screw, so it's gonna go screwing in. All right, so let's get this side in now with the other screw. All right, we got it in. Now what the trick is, is to go ahead and use a screwdriver Let's put these guys in, all right? Still holding the back one, because once you start pushing on this, it's gonna start pushing the, the doorknob all the way through again, okay? It's, Cause it's still loose. So I'm gonna get one in, I'm gonna get it kind of snug. Again, these threads are pretty fine, so it takes just a moment, okay? Some guys use a, a little, little uh, hand uh, screwdriver for that, for an electric one, but I don't, I don't do that kind of stuff. Okay, and then this one will go in. Just like that. Okay, now I don't have to hold the other side because the one, the one screw is already holding in nice and firm. This runs Go like this. Works nice. All right, so what we're going to do over here is we are going to switch out the strike plate. This is the strike plate here. <clears throat> okay, so this is the strike plate. This one here is silver, this one here is brass. We're going to take this one out and we're going to put this one in its place. All right. There's one screw. the other screw. So I got both of the screws out and the strike plate comes right off. All right, so what we're going to do now is put the brass one on. It goes right in its place. The screws, screw holes line up nicely and we're going to put in the brass screws to hold it in place. Just like that. There's one. the other one. So wasn't that hard to do. Basically what you're going to do is you're going to take the screws out and you're going to put the screws back in. Um, the doorknobs are a little bit different. Some are a little bit fancier. Some of them are relatively inexpensive. I don't want to say cheap, but some of them are cheap, but they work. They work. You don't usually destroy a, a doorknob on purpose. It's usually an accidental thing. Um, don't let anybody tell you, you can't do this. This is easy to do. This is just basic maintenance. Don't let anybody tell you, you can't do it. Of course you can do it. 
All you need is to have someone teach you how to do it. Just show you how. If they can do it, you can do it. Just have them show you how. Like I did. And I'll see you in the next video.